Who's the person you're going to become is determined by the level and the depths of your love and more so your relationship with God. I discovered over the years that many people say that they love God, but when it comes to building a sound or grounded relationship with the God that they say that they love, they struggle a whole lot to serve or to just sit and listen. I am speaking to you, if you're going to truly know God, you got to pursue God, chase after his heart passionately. And this means that every single day of your life that you are pursuing him, you're seeking his face, but you're spending time with him. And that time may not be blocks, a 60 minutes or 120 and 20 minutes. That time may mean that those little moments we can still away and whisper to God, Jesus, I love him. And give Jesus and, and wait to give him time back to you. It's one of the things I'm concerned about for you, beloved, that you have too many voices. You have many, too many people. You, you're telling your problems to the wrong person. Too many other people are hearing your issues. It matters to you. You see, persons always ask me, says, Prophetess Katina, what is one of the secrets you would say for your relationship with God? And I repeatedly say these words but not one of my secrets is by not giving myself to too many voices. In other words, I seek to God. You know, I seek to hear his voice. I seek to feel his presence. And one of the things that a lot of us are doing is we're listening to too many pastors, we're going to too many social media accounts, we're going to listen to too many people that want to pray in our spirit, you know, that area that hears God's voice and God's opinion and everything in my life. Some of you just spend your whole life hearing the opinions of too many girlfriends, too many people that want to be your spiritual mothers, Having a spiritual mentor or your prophet, people call prophet, someone that you trust in, someone that you believe that God has divinely aligned you and positioned you to. So that person, as you begin to follow them, observe them, you begin to trust the voice of God speaking through them. So some people say, well, I, why don't I just hear God for myself? Why not? Because my road to developing up of time and even as much as I pursue God, the strategy prayer room moving before I did not know his voice. And so in my submission to a spiritual authority to know where to go and start the strategy prayer room, and learn some ways of God, learn his pulsation. I get to learn the way he spoke and how he spoke and how he felt in the presence and how he felt with things pertaining to my own life, the ministry, the mission, the business, and eventually we mature, to develop and grown to be to the place where I begin to feel and hear and sense and know that I'm walking in his obedience for myself. What, beloved, what I'm saying for you today is that Jesus said this word, Romans 6, that it was very clear. However, you yield yourself as servants to obey his servants. You are to whom you obey. And whether it's of sin unto death, or whether it's obedience and of righteousness, whoever, you, you yourself, 
his servants to obey his servants. You are to whom you obey. In other words, if the opinion of so many people 